Yeah. So we're going into Stratford, which is the Shakespeare town of New Zealand. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Shakespeare? He never even went to New Zealand. What are you talking to me about? We're just doing a few work chores before we head into Stratford today. But from the camper van, all we can see is pure wetness. It is a wet day. We are going to the beautiful township of Stratford, which for some kind of very obscure reason is the Shakespeare town of New Zealand. We arrived right on time in Stratford to assist to the first representation of the Glockenspiel Spiel. Glockenspiel? Glockenspiel? Glockenspiel in German? I have no idea how to pronounce that word. So Glockenspiel is basically a very big tower with animated robots in it. It's a tower of robots telling you the most epic William Shakespeare's story, Romeo and Juliet. If Romeo was a machine and Juliet was a machine and they had a love story to make in less than three minutes with only a dollar fifty of budget, <laughs> you will get the Stratford Glockenspiel. We are here to see the Glockenspiel in action. One by one, Juliet appears, then Romeo appears, they are exchanging words, then Juliet appears a bit higher up the clock tower, then Romeo appears above the clock tower, then they both appear on the side of the clock tower, and then, and then, and then at the end, listen, this is a good part. They both appear together because they are now together and they are now in love. It's a magical story. This is the perfect time to come to Stratford. Why that? because there's a lot of undercover sections and you make the best out of them when it's raining. So here's what just happened right here. Leroy picked up his pamphlets and realized that tit for a car is spelled T-A-E-A-T. -E but she's been spending it <laughs> T -I -T. on the entire last blog post. So I that's pretty good. It, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's in the second half. Hopefully no one's got that way. Look, there, there's me holding a teeth. <laughs> now the rain is pouring down on us and we're like, okay, we need a time out. Also, we have grocery shopping to do. We just want to procrastinate from doing the grocery shopping. Let's go and get a coffee somewhere. And we find this really cool cafe called Cafe XOX or Cafe Kiss Hug Kiss. And it looks really quirky, like through the windows, you can see all sorts of colors going on. There's, it's obviously an art gallery as well. So it's got paintings all, all over the walls and there's lots of stuff on shelves and things. So this looks like our sort of cafe and we go in there and we get some coffee, some Robin has standard hot chocolate. Obviously Robin was really upset we didn't find any board games when we went to the op shops. But in this cafe, each table has its own game to play. We play Connect Four and Solitaire and we play that with some little wooden pegs in a little wooden game set. And you know, it's a good way to spend a rainy afternoon, just drinking coffee, playing games. Today we are following Laura's intuition. She thinks that there is a swing bridge somewhere around this park, which is uh, literally 
How about like a hundred meters by a hundred meters? Oh, look everyone. I found a swing bridge. Oh. And is that running water as well? When Robin said there was no way there could be a swing bridge with running water here. I am being really upset right now. According to Google map, there is no river in about a 50 kilometers radius. So I guess that thing down here is now a river. So Laura did find a swing bridge. Laura, how do you feel? believes in you you just have to believe in yourself and, and you find a swing bridge can I give me a high five no you don't deserve a high five you should give me a high five we actually um, went to do grocery shopping that we actually recorded in a masterful beautiful way which is a time lapse of our trolley believe it or not this was the most action we got today Stratford is like the central hub of Taranaki. It's um, a good like access point to Mount Taranaki and the Egmont National Park. And also Stratford is, whew, wait for this fact, it's gonna blow your mind. Stratford, it's street names. Stratford street names, oh, I can't even say it. It's just too good. <laughs> Stratford's street names are all named after William Shakespeare's work. For instance, we have Romeo Street, we have Hamlet Street, we have Cressida Street, we have Page Street, and the list goes on. Anyway, it's a really fascinating fact about Stratford. And we can't wait to see all these street names, which we film none of. 